In this video, I'm going to give you five reasons why Mikhail Arteta deserves a new contract at Arsenal. So reason number one is I think he's increased the team's ceiling. And what I mean by that is when he took over, we were finishing, we finished fifth. And I think that was as high as the teams could go. I think even if we got into the Champions League then, I think there wasn't much room for growth within that team. You had players who were on their way out. You know, Aubameyang was getting older. Um, although he did score a lot after that, but, you know, he, the ceiling wasn't very high on that team. Maybe they had like, one or two more years. Whereas you look at now and the team's average age is, you know, early 20s, early to mid 20s. And you can see them going further. So I think number one, he's increased the ceiling. So if you add a few more additions, you can see this team um, building on that. So yeah, he's taken over and we haven't gone any further in terms of league position as of yet. Um, but you can see where he's going with it and hopefully um, things will get better as it goes along. So number one is he's improved the ceiling of the team. So number two is he's got rid of players who haven't pulled their weight and um, players who just weren't good enough and some of them on big contracts. So um, he's really done well to trim the squad down to the bare bones and get rid of players who were not performing or were causing trouble in the dressing room or both. So players like Gwendouzi, you know, with all the talent in the world. However, if you're going to mess around and not take things seriously, then I think he did the right thing of just, you know, getting him out. You can see with um, some of the other dressing rooms in the Premier League, not naming any names, but um, when people start to cause trouble and it's better to get them out, you know, great managers, Alex Ferguson knew that, Guardiola, I'm sure Klopp doesn't take any rubbish from his players. So he's done well to, you know, even with Aubameyang, although Aubameyang's a nice character, um, he still made sure, you know, if you're not on time and things like that, then it's going to be a problem and it's a bad, um, you're a bad role model for the young players as well. So um, I don't know the ins and outs of what happened with that, but I think um, it was best for both parties and Aubameyang wasn't playing very well. So he's done well to trim the squad, um, get rid of players on massive wages who weren't doing enough to warrant those wages and also yeah make sure the dressing room harmony was there and that everyone was you know following the same rules and not messing around and taking things more seriously there was a lot of players at Arsenal from the last decade who were just coasting um, just happy to collect a wage and not really caring about you know winning anything or yeah just happy to sit there and collect their wage so Number two, he's got rid of players um, who are causing trouble and who weren't pulling their weight on big contracts. Number three, he's made some really good signings last summer. Um, I'm not sure whether some of the signings previously were his or to do with the previous regime. So I'm just going to go for um, the last summer signings because they were good. But yeah, we'll have to see about... Because it always puzzled me how, why he signed Cedric, but he never played him initially. So there was stuff like that. I think it was, it was him who signed Cedric. Um, but the, looking at last summer, we had uh, Ramsdale. I think most people, even though he's tailed off a bit towards the end of the season, uh, most people will be happy with that signing and how he's done for the majority of the season. Pulled off some great saves. Uh, we've got Tommy Asu, who's been solid. You know, when he's not been injured, he's been... I think there was one bad game he had, maybe I think it was against Villa. But apart from that, he's been solid, um, really dependable signing. Then we've had Martin Odegaard, which um, a lot of people wanted Madison um, last summer. Uh, at a lot, you know, I think they were looking at 50 million for Madison, 50, 60, or maybe even higher. Um, we got Odegaard for 30, so that was, I think, a bargain. And he's, he's had a pretty decent season um, when he does perform he shows his quality um sometimes he can be a bit quiet but great signing um and then ben white um i'm not the hugest fan of ben white i think um he has got mistakes in him but he's young and he's had a really good season um sometimes yeah just sometimes 
a few mistakes kind of here and there. So um, then we've got Nuno Tavares, who I think still has a future at Arsenal. Maybe he needs a loan or something like that. And same with Sambi Lakonga. Those two are maybe not so sure about, but um, they're still young and they've got room for development. So yeah, number three, he's made some, or four, <laughs> he's made some good signings. Yeah, number three, he's made some good signings. Number four, he's um, brought a togetherness between the fans and the players and the club. Well, maybe not so much the club, <laughs> but um, there's definitely a togetherness between the fans and the players. And, um, you know, he's got his chant. I'm not sure if I'm ready to be singing uh, Mik Mikel Arteta and all that, but um, I think he's definitely improved things. I think if you ask most people um, when he took over, how many of the squad that we actually could connect with and liked, I think most people would say, you know, there's not many names there that you'd want to see at the club. So he's done well to bring in players that we can get behind, um, like players like Tommy Asu, like I mentioned before, Ramsdale. They're they're good good with the fans and um, especially Ramsdale, you know, he's a bit cheeky and so that kind of thing goes down well. Um, yeah, so he's brought a connection with the fans and I think the dressing room is in a healthy place. You you can see they're all playing for him. They all believe in what's happening. Um, they're all together. You know, sometimes we're accused of over-celebrating things, but um, yeah, it's a, it's a sign that they're all together and um, that's how Unai Emery lost the dressing room. Like, you know, that's how he lost his job, sorry, is losing the dressing room. And so it's very important that everyone's together and they're all on the same page. So that's number four. Uh, lastly, number five is he's won a trophy. So um, trophies aren't for everyone. Uh, some some clubs uh, haven't won one recently, so I'm not naming any names, but you know who you are. <laughs> so um, yeah, the FA Cup win. I know he's kind of, it's probably cheeky to bring it up. It's been a while so since he's won that, but um, I think that definitely kept him in the job then. And it's something that's on his CV, you can say, you know, if it doesn't work out Arsenal, say he's looking for another job. Okay, look, I've won a trophy. I came in and I got the job done. I beat, I think it was City and Chelsea on the way to the final or at the final as well. So he's done well to win a trophy with limited experience and to set us up just to win the game. So, um, yeah, so he's won a trophy. So that's number five. So those are my five reasons why Mikel Arteta deserves a new contract. Um, I haven't been the biggest Arteta fan, so disclosure. And some of my friends might uh, wonder why I'm making this video. But I think he does deserve credit. And I said at the beginning of the season, if he can get um, Euro European football, then I think he deserves to at least see out his contract. It looks like we could get top four. Uh, let's see what happens on um, Thursday with Spurs. Um, but let me know what you think in the comments, um, if you agree with the contract extension or would you prefer that, you know, we wait to the end of the season or do you just want to get rid of him? There's been times that this season, Everton, Burnley, I thought I just, I just couldn't see him, especially after the three games lost recently. I thought, you know, some of his decisions have been shocking. However, he's been proven me wrong. So let's see what happens at the end of the season and where we finish, but definitely deserves a bit more time for me. So let me know what you think in the comments um, and I'll see you in the next video.